Today I'm going to explain how to set up a dual solo bus on a Digico SD series console. Dual solo bus? Well, as a monitor engineer, I want a solo bus for my in-ears and I want a solo bus for my wedge. How do I set it up on a Digico? That's what I'm going to explain today. I'm Stain. Welcome to Monosound Lab. Okay, dual solo bus on a Digico. What do I mean? I've created a little session to explain to you. Uh, it's a really simple session. It's on an SD12 today. It's quite the same on SD10 or SD9. It's a little bit different, but always quite the same. Uh, what is a session? It's a vocal mic, a mono vocal mic, which is my mic at the time. There's a click track. That's the one channel I do not want to hear in my listen wedge because I don't want a click track in my wedge. That will just disturb the show. Uh, I've created a mono wedge mix for the stage and I've created a stereo in-ear mix for the stage. Now, um, I want to be able to decide whether I want to hear the in-ears in my wedge or in my ears, the wedge in my wedge or in my ears. I want to be flexible with that. Uh, how do you do it on a Digico? Let's go. You press the master screen, you go to the solos tab, and right there, it brings you to the solo buses on a Digico. There's by default two. Solo number one, I want to make it a stereo in-ear uh, solo. Solo number two, I've created a mono solo wedge. Uh, what is important to know is that this section and that section on, I think on every console, Digigo console, that can be found on the console itself, as you can see, does exactly the same. Next thing, what are we able to do is, is to control where the solo bus is heading. So I select the direct out, my output, and now my in-ear is going to my local out three and four. The wedge, solo number two, is I want to send that to my local output uh, number five. So that's patched. Now that's all good. Uh, what, do I, what do I need to do next? I want to be able to control the level. But I'm very old school. I do not want to do it on a rotary uh, button. So what do I do next? I want to assign the rotary on a fader. How do I do it? Press the master screen again, go to LCD function, and we're going to assign a fader for that. So we push assign faders. You go to the master screen again, go to the layout tab, channel list, and in the bottom of the, the whole thing, you can find the solo, uh, the two solo buses. So I press assign, I assign the solo one in here to that fader, and I press assign, and I assign the solo two wedge to that fader. Never forget guys, always press LCD function and solo to go out of that menu again. I know it's a new feature on the software that reverts automatically, but still I recommend you to do it so you don't forget, so you don't stay in that uh, menu. So what have I done now? Just to, be, just to show you, I've created a level control through fader on the, um, on the desk. That's that. Now I want to be able to decide whether I want to hear the vocal and the click in my in-ear or in the wedge. How do I do that? Again, I go to the LCD function. I press solo choice. Now there I can choose whether I want to hear the vocal in solo number one, solo number two, which is my wedge, or in both. I want to hear that in both. The click I only want to hear in solo number one, so I leave it there. The wedge I want to leave it in solo number one and number two at the same time. And the in-ear, I do not want to hear it into solo two, which is the wedge. Again, guys, don't forget, LCD function, go solo, and then you're out of that menu. So it's as simple as that, but now I have a little, uh, little trick up my sleeve. When you go to the solo tab, again, there's the no solo function. Now, in my case, I really have a star mix, a really celebrity mix on stage, and that's the mix I always want to hear in my ears. What does the no solo button do? So every time I deselect a solo, I want to be able to hear the mix from that star in my ear. So whenever I'm not soloing anything, I hear his mix. So you press the no solo, you select a stereo, you select that mix, aux number eight. So every time I do not select anything, I'm going to hear that aux number eight in my ears. Could be really convenient. So that was it, really simple. Uh, now you know how to do that on a Digico. And in the next video, I'm going to explain to you a more advanced version of the solos bus setup. Well, how I add talkback mics on stage and talkback from front of house and all that. But that's for the next video. If you like this video, if you have any comments, questions, leave them in the section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, have fun. Uh, see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.